Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing well today. We are doing a, another review of another cannabis-influenced scent. This is Chronic from a company called 1969, it's 19-69 Fragrances. Before we jump into the review, if you'd be kind enough to subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, all those things help us get into other people's suggested video feeds, increase our reach, and just make it a better experience for us and people who are watching us, because the more people who get involved and comment, it just makes it a better thing. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this company, 1969, it was created by a Swedish artist and product developer, a guy named Johan Bergelin. He took a 24-month creative journey with artisans in Scandinavia, France, and Italy to lead the launch of five perfumes in 2017. Now, their line has increased significantly, I think, to at least 15 or maybe even 20, 25 different scents. This one is clearly influenced by cannabis. On the website, they state, quote, in 1996, California became the first state in the U.S. to legalize medicinal cannabis. But scratch the surface, and there has always been a long history of cannabis cultivators and enthusiasts dedicating their lives to refining the herb, including the strain Chronic. However, the name of the fragrance also alludes to the debut album of Dr. Dre. The Chronic was released in 1992, the same year as the LA riots. I'm not sure what one has to do with the other, but that's what's on the website. The notes are that the scent is leafy, vibrant, and green. The top The top notes are clary sage, petty grain, grapefruit, and bitter orange. The middle notes, cannabis, Virginian cedar, and amber. The base notes are moss, vetiver, patchouli, musk, and cashmere wood. Now, you know, they talk about the chronic. All right, so the chronic is a strain of weed and now they used to refer to like the Dr. Dre record. That's really sort of a generic. The chronic generally just meant cannabis. However, the company known as Sirius Seeds in the Netherlands actually has a strain called the chronic that they sell seeds for, which they have sold seeds for, for many, many, many years. Certainly since the mid 1990s. Do their sales date to the LP of The Chronic by Dr. Dre? I can't honestly say. I do know Simon, the guy who owns Sirius Seeds, so one day I will have to ask him about that. At this moment, I don't really have an answer. I sprayed this on myself about two to three hours ago, close to three hours actually, because I kind of want to let it dry down, see what's what. I didn't want to rush the review. The first impression is it's grassy, meaning it's kind of got a fresh green scent to it. Am I smelling cannabis? I am not. After I put it on, you still get that fresh green sort of scent. In the dry down and after about two hours, you get something that's sort of reminiscent of cannabis. Is it really straight up weed stank? No, it's definitely not. But like I say, it's sort of reminiscent of a bag of fresh cut weed. It doesn't have that hay-like smell, and it certainly doesn't have the intense combination of terpenes that a lot of weed that is on the market these days has been bred for. So it's somewhere in the midline. It is very fresh smelling. Like I say, it does not smell like cannabis. I think this particular scent from 1969 fragrances is really more a capturing of the idea of California and cannabis and the late 60s. It's sort of a, like I say, it's sort of an idea. It's an artistic kind of a statement, I guess. I mean, I, statement is a pretty strong and loaded word. But for each scent in the 1969 line, there is a unique fragrance journey included in the perfume box. As with all parfums, each scent comes alive different on every person. Anything that affects the natural smell of your skin, such as diet, pH balance, Hormonal changes or medication alter the perfume's characteristics slightly. Studies say that people are usually drawn to scents that work with their natural body scent. 
which is kind of something we've been talking about for quite some time. Perfume is almost like a living organism and very sensitive to environmental changes. There's a lot of information about the house and the guy behind it down below in the description. But I'm going to put a little bit more on myself and let it settle for a couple of minutes and see if I notice anything different. You know, we got this two milliliter sprayer decant however you want to characterize it, from Sensplit. The price point for 100 milliliters of the chronic scent is $195. I'm sure you could find it discounted on various websites. Now, this company has several other cannabis-themed fragrances, which we will be reviewing over the next several weeks. The scent, a little bit fresh on my arm. It's still... It's got that green sort of fresh vegetal sort of smell to it. But again, it's it, and it's again, it's reminiscent of cannabis, but it's not really smelling like cannabis. As you smell it, you could sort of say, yeah, I kind of get it. I mean, maybe there is some cannabis in here, but it's really not like opening a bag of cannabis that you just picked up from either the dispensary or your plug, as it were. And opening that up and getting that first initial blast of the funky terps or terpenes that are in that plant matter. If you're interested in it, I would definitely recommend trying a sample before you spend 200 bucks on a bottle of this. A lot of people seem to like it. The reviews that I've seen on some of the fragrance sites, people are convinced that this smells like cannabis. I don't know. I, you know, I've been touching the plant for more than 50 years and I'm not feeling it. I'm just not getting it. But again, everybody's a little bit different. And uh, our receptors, both THC, cannabinoid, and otherwise, are everybody's different. If you like the review, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you've not done so already. Please leave comments down below about this if you've had any experience with it or any other sense that may be reminiscent of cannabis. In the meantime, please be kind to fellow human beings and their critters. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling good, and we will catch you on the next review. Cheers, everybody. We love you.